Hi everybody, thank you for joining us for another Life Lifter. This week we are focused on how to have a great day. How many of you want to have a great day? Well, we're talking about five critical factors that will help you have a great day. We started off the week by talking about the first factor and this, this, and it is this. It's how you start your day that counts. The start of your day is one of the most important factors in determining how great that day is. And we looked at Psalm 118.24 that says, This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And if you start off your day saying that verse, believing that verse, trusting that verse, it will contribute to you having a great day. Then on Tuesday, we talked about the second factor, and that's this, expecting God's best. Not the best, but God's best, which is really the same thing. I'm not talking about positive thinking. I'm talking about divine thinking, biblical thinking, God thinking. We talked about how Ephesians 3, 20 and 21 says that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, abundantly, Above all that we ask or think. We can think great things. God says, I can trump that. I can see that. I can exceed that. And that's the second factor. To have a vital optimism in God that everything that happens in your life is great. It may not be fun. It may not be convenient, but it's for your best. And then yesterday we talked about the third thing, and that's to remember God's love. When we read in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 16 and 19, how the goal of life is to grasp God's love. When you know that you're loved by God, the greatest person in the universe, it will shape your life and you will have a great day. The challenge, God's love is infinite. We're trying to, in the words of Ephesians 3, Paul's words, grasp it. Today, I want to give you the fourth thing that will help you have a great day, and that's this. Saturate yourself in Scripture. Saturate in Scripture. You know, I don't know about you, but the word saturate makes me think about food. And before I had some um, uh, issues with my arteries were as required stents on two occasions, um, I loved to saturate what I cooked in butter. Isn't that, think of that, isn't that so good? Isn't butter awesome? You cook a steak or you cook a pork chop or you cook something and you saturate it in butter. You put butter in the pan, you put the steak in there, you put butter on top, and then you flip it over, put butter on the other side. You got to put some Cajun seasoning, some nice seasonings on there, man. But but to saturate it in butter, I mean, I tell you, a really great thing is get some rice, cook it, and put a lot of butter on it, some cayenne pepper, some, oh man, I'm just, I'm getting hungry right now just thinking about it saturate it just means to get it all over the place when something's good and you saturate it man it's good now i can't have all that stuff now and um i i can't be saturating anything in butter i gotta saturate it in uh, non-fat this or that or the other but here's what i want to say to you if you will saturate your life in the scriptures you will have a great day what do i mean by saturate your life in scripture Psalm 1, verses 1 to 3, the very first psalm of the collection of 150 psalms in the Old Testament, the first half of it talks about this. Let me read it and explain. Psalm 1, 1 to 3 says this, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. But, contrast, his delight is in the law of the Lord, scriptures and on his law he meditates day and night he's meditating on it day and night he's saturating in it is the idea that's what meditate means it means to roll over in your mind continually and it's a saturation of the scriptures here's what happens when he saturates in the scriptures meditates on it day and night he is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Look at how it ends. Whatever he does prospers. Oof. That's how you have a great day. It's like a tree planted by the water. What does a tree need? It needs warmth, sun, water, nutrients. And when a tree is planted by the water, it gets a critical aspect of life giving this. I remember when we had our last house, we had a creek behind it. Larkin Creek ran behind our house and my next door neighbor had a tree right on the edge of the creek. That tree just grew so big and so fast. I saw it 
over the 20 years we lived there. It grew so big and it never had a problem. It was always strong. Same thing will happen to us when we saturate in Scripture. Non-stop engagement in Scripture. You go, what do you mean? I got to walk around like this? Hi, hi, how you doing? Hi, I saturate. No, listen, you got to get the Scriptures in your mind and your heart. Memorize them. Think about them. The ones that you know. Think about them all the time. Saturate your life in Scripture. If you saturate in your life in Scripture, guess what? Your thinking becomes like God's thinking. And when your thinking becomes like God's thinking, then guess what? You're going to have a great day. Are you saturating in Scripture? What can you do? Get some key Scriptures that you love and enjoy and memorize them. Uh, You can find lists all over the place. Just, Just Google the greatest verses in the Bible. And just print them out, put them on index cards, do what you got to do and memorize them. But then think about them all the time. You don't have to have the Bible in front of you. You don't have to have the card in front of you if you memorize scripture. And if you saturate on it, your thinking will become biblical and you will have the best day possible. Because in every situation, the right scripture will come to your heart and mind and you'll get through it. So let's pray. Father, I pray that all of us would love the Bible more than we ever have before that we want to read it, heed it, and live it, and that we would saturate in it. Help us to have verses that come to mind that would saturate into our thinking so that we could please you, and if we please you, we will have the best day ever. Thank you for this. Help us to have a plan to saturate in Scripture so that we can please you, and you in turn can give us the best possible day every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, saturate yourself in scripture today and for the rest of your life.